I was more afraid than ever that terrible night. We were just kids, playing, without a care in the world. That's it. I think it'll work now. The weather is perfect. My work is finally complete. I tried to stop her, but... I couldn't. I was too afraid. Get away from the light! Oh no! What have I done? She was gone then. And it was all my fault for being so afraid. For you today, Hidden Expedition, a Smithsonian Castle. This is the beta for the game. I'm your Gibbs, and of course, if you're looking for the last couple of Hidden Expedition games that I have recorded, there'll be playlists down in the video description. Now, this is the eighth in the series. Don't think that this is the same as Smithsonian Hope Diamond, which I believe is number six. And number seven, I had a special guest along with me for that one, so if you want to check that out, and you haven't already, go for it. Playlist down in the video description. Go, go, go. In the meantime, stick around and watch this one or multitask and watch them both. I don't know. Do something. Uh, we have, of course, this neat little thing here that shows all the little dates and stuff. Uh, this is, of course, made by Epix, and they've been making a lot of games lately. They sure have. So let's go ahead and have a little peek here. Uh, all sorts of craziness in terms of the you know, difficulty settings here. So go ahead and get into this game. I'm really excited to see what they've done here. Finally, everything is set for tomorrow's exhibit. Who's this guy? And who's that guy? Or that gal? What? It's happened again? I don't believe this. This is the third time something like this has happened. I could really use some help, and I know exactly who to call. Hehehe, he he, help. The people from the Smithsonian said they had a problem with the power last night. I don't know why they called two seasoned agents in for this instead of electricians. I brought this fancy equipment, but it looks like we won't need it. You go inside and see what's going on. Someone will be waiting for you. I'll stay outside and check the perimeter. Here, this will help you get in. Alrighty then, what's he offering up? Let's zoom in here. It's one of those, which is the Smithsonian Sun Emblem. You can listen to educational messages during gameplay. Welcome to the Smithsonian Institution's administrative wing, commonly referred to as the castle. Designed by James Renwick Jr., the building was completed in 1855 using red sandstone brought from Seneca Creek, Maryland. The castle eventually became an anchor for the National Mall as museums and government buildings were constructed nearby. Yay! Collect all the hidden symbols throughout the game. One out of four time travelers. All right, that's good. They're going to look like that, are they? Now, that's... That little educational thing there, that's what I really enjoyed about Hope Diamond. It was kind of like this mixture of edu education and entertainment, or what I like to call edutainment. It was a lot of fun, so... Looks like we're going to have more and more of that, which is great. Someone's left some trash thereabouts. The background uh, chatter of people, that's kind of neat. The Smithsonian Castle is such a well-known landmark. I have not been to the Smithsonian Castle. How many of you... I've been to the Smithsonian Castle, or you know what? 
How many of you have actually been to Washington, D.C.? I can at least say that I've been to Washington, D.C. I can at least do that. Let's see here. There we go. Oh. And now we got to do it again. Again and again and again. Uh, oh, that's clearly not going to work. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Smithsonian Institute. S.I. Hee hee hee. Let's go inside the entrance hall. Welcome to the Smithsonian Institution. I've been expecting you. I'm Rick Stam. Don't mind the public. There's a press conference underway right now, as a new exhibit just opened today. I wonder if he's real. I wonder if Rick Stam is a real person who actually works at the Smithsonian Institute. That would be cool. Or the Smithsonian Castle. We had a power outage last night. The electricians have already been through and they didn't find anything amiss. The security system is upstairs. Please follow me. Sure thing. Watch the video, or watch the security footage, okay. No, but I want, I, I, I want the collectible. Wow, okay, fine. I tried to enter the security system, but I can't seem to get in. Power outage must have something to do with that. Our security chief, who is on his well-deserved vacation, left this in case of an emergency. You'll have to excuse me, but I'm needed downstairs at the press conference. Good luck with your investigation. Why, thank you. I'll take that. And I want that, and I want to go back, because you know what? I want this. Yeah. That must be the way to the tower. Uh, oh, the top of the tower. Oh, <laughs> sparkles, neato. Look at all of these security cameras, good grief. Super security. Butterfly is missing. Yep, got a few missing things there. And there, all right, fine. Let's do it. Uh, this is a silhouette. Hidden object, find the objects in the scene based on the silhouettes in your or in your menu here. Now, uh... America! Yeah! Now, I don't know if there's morphing objects here, or... Because Epix usually puts morphing objects. Not in every scene, but... back of a whale or something. Oh, the ladybug. The uh, background noise is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, the, the murmur of people talking. Can't quite make out what they're saying. So I'm not even sure what that is. Well, we'll just hint it just for fun. Oh wow, there we go. And more and more and more. It's a dinosaur hat. Yay. We have got ourselves a Smithsonian booklet. Ooh. In case of power outage, the computer will shut down. You will need the encryption key, which is stored on the USB flash drive. Nifty modern feel to it. Look at this thing. This looks so so realistic. Oh, that was a map? Oh, neat. Oh, cool. First floor. Locations where you have something to do. Your current position. Sure, let's go this way. Let's see. More security cameras in here. Use the encryption key to enter the system. Yeah, we're in. Let's take a look at the display. This computer. The incident occurred between 2 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. 
Back, 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 all the way to the beginning. Motion detector there. Oh, we did that. Motion detector there. The person accessed the tower from the entrance hall. Culprit dropped something off the tower. Satellite footage is available too. This is so high tech. I love it. What am I looking for? Zoom in, zoom in. It's a phase. <laughs> gotcha. You can run, but you can't hide. Nice, nice. That's some serious high tech. <laughs> we hit silence. Wow. So that's what she took before heading out. The gate leading to the tower is locked. If anyone needs to get upstairs, use the gate ornament and return it after use. Well, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Planets. Ooh, another planet. This is a sliding zoom zone. You can press the arrows to move up and down. Pillows. Comfy pillows. Looks like we're gonna have to deal with this eventually. Do that in a minute. Uh, we're gonna need some sort of ruler. I don't know if this would work. Oh, it will! Haha, <laughs> cocktail stir. Stir stick. Yeah. Fat cards! Oh, they still have those too. Wow. I'll show you the fat card in just a moment. We knock over all these books. Yeah. Bad books. Alright, let's look at this back card. So these are sort of collectibles, but they're educational collectibles. Which is great. Adams Cleveland bookcase. This is a very old bookcase from President Clover Cleveland. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at. Uh, oh. Oh, so we can't look at achievements right now. We have the videos that we can watch. And fat cards. Okay. Nifty. That hidden expedition box has been around forever. Fat cards, achievements. So, shall we go here? Actually, I haven't even off again. Oh no, our lighter is empty. That's no good. A dimmer knob. Hmm. Butterfly wing. Okay, well, we should go back here then. Ah, uh, so, hi there. You have a photo of the suspect. We can use it to test out this facial recognition program. It's the newest thing to come out of hell. It's still in the prototype phase, but go on, try it. Uh, I'll be with you in just a moment. There's butterfly wing in here. Wings, I suppose. Uh, sure. Whoever wrote this has a special connection to the Civil War period. My Civil War period research funding has been granted. It has always been my dream to explore that time. I feel strangely connected to it. Another factoid. Alright, let's look at it. Yeah. The Smithsonian Insect Cabinet. This unique 17th century cabinet on stand is constructed of walnut, oak, and fruit wood. Huh. Wow, it is old, 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 old. And I know you Europeans, like, your civilization was much older than that. But Canada, I don't know, we were... Columbus was coming around at that time, wasn't he? When did Columbus come? Oh, maybe that was 1490. Never mind, or 1493 or something like that. 1492. Insert photo. Let's go ahead and put that photo in there. Who have we discovered here? Facial recognition. Not exactly sure what we're doing here. 
Oh, I see. We're supposed to just put it around her face. Alright, I can do that. Sure, sure. Did it. Who are you, mystery lady? Oh. Now we gotta do eyes? Come on. We can do this. This seems like a very low-tech way to do it. <laughs> I love it. This is great. One eyeball. I see, I can just drag it until it turns red. Alright, well that's a heck of a lot simpler than what I was doing. Look at the code back there, what does it mean? <laughs> Nifty. This is actually a lot simpler once I realize I can drag it into position. Yeah. Cool. Overall face, eyeballs, mouth and nose. <gasps> It's a Smithsonian employee, age 22, field of work, civil war period, Sarah Jackson. Uh-oh. That's amazing. You've got to be the best agent we've got at help. Looks like our suspect is employed at the Smithsonian. You should check the archive, see what you can find. Yeah. I'm going to do that. We're gonna have to do some planet work, aren't we? Oh boy. How does this work? Oh, maybe we just have to get them into position. Alright, that, that I can live with. Come on, sunshine. No! Super hard. Yay. We're going to go to the tower. Maybe. Oh, you know what? I have a dimmer switch. Go. Put that on full. Anyways, oh, look at that beautiful crowbar there. It wants to come home with me. You know it does. That would be my souvenir from the Smithsonian Castle. Yeah, go crowbar. Nice, nice, nice. So we need to figure out how to fix her up. What is she missing? She's missing kind of like wingy things. I see you there. I don't know where your wings might be. Where's your wings? Oh. It's actually one wing. Now we need the other wing. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Got you. We have found an item, and it is a glass shard. Can we go upstairs now? Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. What's this all about here? Hmm. secret hiding place. My beloved Sarah, just yesterday they brought a phenomenal Eskimo garment for the next exhibit. I hope I can fix the time traveling apparatus so we can be together. Love EP, whoever that is. Time travel, what? Well, color me surprised. It's restricted. 
the shapes. Looks like the Smithsonian building. Hmm. I now hear pigeons in there. <laughs> Let's go. How do I find the archives? Shell. Oh, you know what? The shell probably goes back over here. Yeah, there it goes. Say what? Oh, I see. Maybe. Um. inside this one. Oh, hello. It's an arrow. We want to go this way, do we? I think the arrow is actually going to help us with this door. Yeah, there you go. Open, please. Time to go to the archive. Yay. Ooh, neat. More the castle was designated an historic landmark in 1965. It served as the home and office of the first secretary of the Smithsonian, Joseph Henry. Until 1881, it housed all aspects of the Smithsonian's operations. The research and administrative offices, lecture and exhibition halls, a library and reading room, chemical laboratories, specimen storage areas, as well as living quarters for the secretary, his family, and visiting scientists. That is so cool. I definitely want to hear a little bit of history. Yeah. What else is going on here? He's holding an iPad up there. The blue signed employee agrees that all data downloaded to their personal tablet connected to the 19th century time travel apparatus will not leave the Smithsonian Institution. Okay. We need to figure out the combination. This is used for dating fabric. That is actually really nifty. I agree. What else is going on in here? Whoa, we got books. All the books. Each book has a specific code. Okay, how am I supposed to figure out the code? Good question. Hmm. What about over here? It's a factoid! Let's check that one out. The Smithsonian Libraries. The libraries unite 20 libraries into one system supported by Essential Collection Support Services. Wow, their libraries coordinate with more than 4,000 institutions worldwide. Huh. Interesting. What do we have here? Could this be connected to everything that's going on? Maybe. Attention, attention. An important blueprint has gone missing. Did Sarah have something to do with that? I think it's likely. 